What's going on guys? I'm gonna show you how to get set up with the Android emulator so that you can run your uh, React Native apps and any other apps really on an Android virtual device. So um, the first thing we're gonna do is go to Google and type in Android Studio, because that's what we're gonna download. Um, and let's find the first one that isn't an ad. And if I scroll down, it should be this one from developer.android.com. And then I'll go ahead and click download Android Studio. And I'll scroll down, agree to all those, which I've obviously read thoroughly. Um, and there's two options if you're on a Mac. We've got um, one for the Mac with the Intel chip and one for the Mac with Apple chip. Now, I'm using a Mac with the Intel chip, so obviously I'd do that. But if you're using one of the new Macs with the M1 and M2 chip, you'll click this one here. If you're on a Windows PC, I imagine there'd just be one option for you. So let's go ahead and download that. Oh, I have a... Android Studio user badge. That's pretty cool. Um, so I've downloaded it. Oh, let me move my head's in the way. Um, it's downloading. Okay, so we've downloaded that. I'll click on it. Uh, and you're going to go ahead and move this into your applications folder. Now, I've already got it. I've already downloaded it. Um, so I won't do it again, but just move that into there. If you're on a Windows machine, just run the file that you downloaded. It should walk you through the installation. So once that's done, go ahead and run Android Studio. So if you're on a Mac, you can search for it or find it in your applications folder. You don't need the web browser anymore, so you can get rid of that. All right, so we've got Android Studio. Now, if you just want to use the Android virtual device, you won't even need Android Studio itself. So all we're going to do is go down to configure at the bottom, ignore all the rest of the options, and just click AVD Manager, this Android virtual device manager. So click that, and it brings up this. Now, like I said, I've already done this before. I've already got Android Studio installed, so I have a device here. But yours will be empty. Just click Create Virtual Device. Um, and I imagine you'd want to use phone. In most cases, you probably do. Uh, but go ahead and choose a device you want to do. Now, you probably want to stick with one which is fairly recent, but just check out the size of the display, maybe. Um, and I'd recommend choosing one that has the Play Store as well. In many cases, you're going to need the Play Store to install apps, especially if you're using Expo. So make sure you've got one with this symbol to say that the Play Store is enabled. So in my case, the most recent one, I think, is this one here. So I'd click that. I'd click Next. And then um, you don't want to download one of these system images. So as I've already done this before, I already have one from R uh, downloaded, but yours would probably have a download button there. But I'll go ahead and do it. I'll do it with Q just to show you what you'd need to do. I'll click Download there on the Q one. Like I said, you would probably want to choose the one at the top of the list, but I've already, I've already downloaded it. So this is the 1.1 gigabyte uh, download, so this might take a while. All right, we're done now, that downloaded, so I'll go ahead and click finish. Uh, and now you see I have this system image ready to go. Um, as I said again, I'll, I'll uh, use the most recent one, but I just downloaded that to show you what would happen. So I'll choose the most recent one. In your case, you'll just choose the one you downloaded just now. Um, go ahead and give it a name if you want to. I could just leave with the default, that's okay. And uh, so I'll just click finish. And we should be ready to go. So here we go. We've got my device. Uh, where are we? Let me open this a little bit. So the one I just downloaded is at the top of the list. And when you want to run it, all you can do is click on this little button here, this play button, I guess. Uh, it launches it. So I'm clicking that. And then our device should start up. And again, my fat head's in the way. So I'm going to move, move that out of the way with the device. Okay, here we go. The device is started and we're ready to go now. We can use it. And uh, one thing I'll do is just make sure I've got internet access. So I'll click on the browser because in a lot of cases, you're going to need to use the internet to download, um, we'll download the Expo app if that's what you're using. So I'll just make sure I can actually access the internet. Let's just click Facebook. All right, cool. We can access the internet, so we're all good there. Um, so just a little bonus. If you did have a, a React Native app set up in some way, um, all you'd need to do is make sure you've got your server running. So this is uh, using an Expo app, of course. I'm going to show you how you can run it with Expo. All you're going to do in this case for an Android device is press A. So that should run on the Android device now. It looks like it's installing Expo Go, which is the app, the Expo app. Okay, that took a really long time. So much so that I was getting this message saying that it's taking longer than expected. Um, so, yeah, just give it a second if it seems to be taking a while. 
Looks like it's doing something now. Okay, we're finally there. That took a long time. I got no idea why it took so long. Maybe my computer's having a meltdown or something, but there we go. Um, so that's essentially what I was trying to show you. If you have a React Native app, run the server and press A in the terminal and it will, you should see it on your device. So that's it. Yeah, that's how you do it.